Poor performance won't be tolerated now in BBC One Scotland. If you don't measure up, you're not in the game. Here are the eight contestants preparing for tonight's show. These people have already appeared on the daily weakest link and walked away as winners. This evening, they've returned to play for double the money, £20,000. But seven of them will leave with nothing as they learn what it's like to be voted the weakest link. to the weakest link. Any of the eight people in the studio here tonight could win up to £20,000. They don't know each other, however. If they want the prize money, they'll have to work as a team. Last time on The Daily Show, they all left as winners, but this evening, seven of them will leave with nothing. As round by round, we lose the player voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. My name is Beryl, I'm 49, and I'm a housewife from Birmingham. I'm Gordon, I'm 25, from Aberdeen, and I work as a cashier in a petrol station. I'm Louise, I'm 35, from Derry, I'm a Metropolitan Police Officer. I'm Sean, I'm 27, and from Cambridge, and I'm a researcher in a software company. I'm Paul, 49, an account manager from Cleveland. I'm Chris, I'm 31, from pont a in South Wales, and I'm a civil servant. My name's Nadia, I'm 25, and I'm a lawyer from Somerset. I'm John, 53 years of age, and I'm a mature geography student at Walls End, North Tyneside. Now, the rules. In each round, the aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your £2,500 target within the time limit. The fastest way to reach your targets is to create a chain of eight correct answers. Get your question wrong and you break the chain and you lose all the money in that chain. But if you say bank before the question is asked, the money is safe. However, you start a new chain from scratch. We'll begin with a person whose name is first alphabetically. That's you, Beryl. Let's play The Weakest Link. The first question is for £50, start the clock. Beryl, which animal is known as the ship of the desert? The camel. Correct, Gordon. In football, who resigned as the England coach following their defeat by Germany in October this year? Kevin Keegan. Correct, Louise. In which country of Great Britain are the towns of Bangor and Rill? No idea. Wales. Sean, according to the Bible, what was the name of the first man? Adam. Correct, Paul. In a motor vehicle, drum and disc are the two main types of what? Brakes. Correct, Chris. Which art form has St. Cecilia as its patron, music or sculpture? Sculpture. Music. Nadia. Three Men and a Little Lady was the sequel to which 1987 film? Three Men and a Baby. Correct, John. New Orleans is the largest city in which American state? Louisiana. Correct. Beryl, how many furlongs are there in a mile? Eight. Correct, Gordon. In the animal kingdom, a baby lion is known as what? Cub. Correct, Louise. In food, a savoury snack primarily made with toast and melted cheese is known as a Welsh what? Welsh rarebit. Correct, Sean. Bank. What was the nickname of Edwin Aldrin, the second man on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. Correct, Paul. In which country might you travel south from Salvador to Rio de Janeiro? Brazil. Correct, Chris. In fashion, which type of skirt or dress gets its name from the way in which it flares in a triangular shape from the waist? Don't know. A-line. Nadia, in history, was a sepoy an Indian soldier or a Chinese sailor? A Chinese sailor. An Indian soldier. John, in science, what R is the term used for the change in direction of a beam of light when it is bounced back from a shiny surface? Reflection. Correct. Beryl. Complete the 1989 film title, The Cook, The Thief, His Wife and Her What? Lover. Correct, Gordon. In terms of population, which former capital is the second largest city in Russia? St. Petersburg. Correct, Louise. Did the television character Alexis Carrington appear in Dallas or Dynasty? Dynasty. Correct, Sean. In the British Honours System, are the birthday honours awarded on the Queen's official or natural birthday? Official birthday. Correct, Paul. Bank. Leonardo da Vinci Airport serves which capital city? Florence. Rome. Chris, in history, which general crossed the Alps with over 30 elephants Hannibal. in 218 BC? Hannibal. Correct, Nadia. 
What is the name of the policeman in Enid Blyton's Noddy stories? Plod. Mr. Plod. Bank. John. Bank. In geography, is Scorfield Pike the highest peak in England found in the... Time is up. I cannot complete the question. And in that time, you banked a rather impressive £2,100 out of a possible £2,500. The question is... Who is already looking slightly wobbly and therefore unlikely to keep up this standard? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Statistically, the weakest link is Chris because he got the most questions wrong. Sean is the strongest link. He answered all his questions correctly and banked a thousand pounds for the team. But how will the votes go? Voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Chris. Nadia. Paul. Chris. Chris. Louise. Chris. Chris. Beryl. It's the green jumper for luck. Hopefully. Why Chris? Because he answered more questions incorrectly than everybody else. Nadia, did you think you had a good round? I got one question wrong, Anne. <laughs> Which was one less than I think poor old Chris. Why did you vote for Chris? Because he got the most questions wrong, as far as I could tell. Chris, you didn't know the patron saint of music, did you? Saint Cecilia. No, I didn't. What are you nodding for now? You didn't know it when I asked you. <laughs> Chris, with five votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Certainly, I think of the questions I had wrong, the one I kick myself about is the St. Cecilia one. I mean, St. Cecilia, patron saint of music, I'm a musician, something I should have known. I mean, I think St. Cecilia was a, was a pop band of the early 70s, but should have had that one right. But the A-line skirts, I mean, what do I know about skirts? I mean, I, you know... I don't wear them, at least not in public anyway. I think Louise should be voted off next. Um, certainly she had the one question wrong about Wales, I and mean, that's the question I should have had, really, so I was disappointed with her there. So I think, yeah, I think she'll be the next one to go. Round two. Now, you've won £2,100 so far out of a possible £2,500. Seven players are left. We are now taking 10 seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Sean. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Sean, in the animal kingdom, snails are a member of which group of animals? Mollusks. Correct. Paul, in literature, Seafreak Sassoon is best known for writing poetry about which war? First World War. Correct. Nadia, what aspect of fashion is the speciality of John Frieda? Ha uh, hats. Hairstyling. John, in the film Educating Rita, who played the part of Rita? Julie Walters. Correct. Beryl, in food, what pudding is the traditional accompaniment to roast beef? Yorkshire pudding. Correct. Gordon, in pop music, Brian, Carl and Dennis Wilson were members of which American group of the 60s? The Beach Boys. Correct. Louise, in nature, what M is the name of the tree most commonly found in tropical, fresh and saltwater swamps? Malpas. Mangrove. Sean, in the human body, how many bones are there in the lower jaw? One. Correct. Paul, what is the general term for an instrument for measuring temperature? Thermometer. Correct. Nadia. Bank. Which TV soap opera featured Bouncer the Labrador? Pass. Neighbours. John, the climax of Alfred Hitchcock's film Saboteur takes place at the top of which American landmark? The Empire State Building. The Statue of Liberty. Beryl, in history, who crossed Niagara Falls by tightrope? Harry Houdini or Charles Blondin? Blondin. Correct. Gordon, in maths, what is minus eight plus nine? One. Correct. Louise, in the animal kingdom, which R is a mammal with a characteristic bandit mask across its eyes? A raccoon. Correct. Sean, in English history, who was King Henry VIII's last wife? Catherine Parr. Correct. Paul. Bank. Which of Shakespeare's heroines had married and killed herself by the age of 13? Pass. Juliet. Nadia, 
Found on beaches, sand gaper, conch and common piddick are all forms of what? Shells. Correct. John, the Vedas are the holy scriptures of which religion? A Hindu religion. Hinduism, correct. Beryl, which film celebrated the 25th anniversary of the James Bond series, The Living Daylights or A View to a Kill? A View to a Kill. The Living Daylights. Gordon, what A are the type of drugs used particularly to fight allergies such as hay fever? Adenistamines. Correct, Louise. Time is up and you missed out on that £2,500 in that round. You banked a very disappointing £600. Who was responsible for that? Who is now looking very shaky? Who is out of their depths? It's time to vote off the weakest link. The statistics show that Sean is the strongest link for the second round in a row. With the most incorrect answers, Nadia is the weakest link. But will the team have picked up on that? Voting over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Louise. Nadia. 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 Louise. Louise. Just a bit of an update, team. In the first round, you banked 2,000. £100. In the second round, you bank £600. So, frankly, you look like the team with the golden future behind them. <laughs> Louise, why Nadia? Very clever young lady, but um, you've got a no point, sir. She only got one more question wrong than you did. I knew bouncer. sir. Nobody asked you about bouncing. <laughs> Could you take us through the drawing? I think it was just um, a consolation prize. Right, I think that'll make her very, very pleased. <laughs> Nadia, you're a lawyer, are you? I am a lawyer. Yeah. Very busy? Fairly busy, Anne, yeah. Mm. Do you cut your own hair? <laughs> no, I do not cut my own hair. But you've never heard of John Frieda? I have heard of John Frieda. I could understand if Paul had never heard of John Frieda. <laughs> <laughs> right, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. My friends are going to rid me about John Frieda, particularly as they know how much I spend on haircuts a month. Um, but it's just the nerves of the occasion, and I just... I knew it was something to do with a head and I couldn't remember exactly what. I'd least like Gordon to win because he voted me off both times and I detest that orange shirt he's wearing. Round three. And so far you have in the bank £2,700, but of course by now you could have had £5,000. You are down to six players. We are taking another ten seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round, that's Sean. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Sean, what eye describes water at or below its freezing point? Ice. Correct. Paul, what relation are the singers Nana Cherry and Eagle Eye Cherry? Brother and sister. Correct. John, during the Renaissance, was the Italian Donatello prominent as a painter or a sculptor? As a sculptor. Correct. Beryl. Bank. According to custom, if someone is behaving very well, they are said to be as good as which metal? Gold. Correct. Gordon. In food, what is the name of meat from the flesh of young cows or calves? Mutton. Veal. Louise, in geography, which Kent seaside resort is further north, Ramsgate or Margate? Ramsgate. Margate. Sean, in literature, the 1984 novel The Chamomile Lawn was written by Mary who? Pass. Mary Wesley. Paul. In the animal kingdom, what are a gaggle on the ground and a skein in the air? Geese. Correct. John. In children's TV, Matt Baker joined which BBC programme as a presenter in 1999? Blue Peter. Correct. Beryl. In England, which was worth more, a florin or a half crown? Half crown. Correct. Gordon. In which English city would you find the Rotunda and Chamberlain Square? Bath. Birmingham. 
Louise, in travel, what number was given to the route that ran from Chicago to Los Angeles? 66. Correct. Sean, in the animal kingdom, the tiger is native to only one continent. Which one? Asia. Correct. Paul, in which 1988 Oscar-winning film did Dustin Hoffman play the role of autistic Raymond Babbitt opposite Tom Cruise? Rain Man. Correct. John, the city of Cardiff lies on which channel? The Bristol Channel. Correct. Beryl. In the 1950s, the expression in a wild crocodile was the expected response to which catchphrase? See you later, alligator. Correct, Gordon. On TV, Graham Kerr was known as the galloping what? Gourmet. Correct, Louise. Bank. In medicine, what was used first, aspirin or paracetamol? Aspirin. Correct, Sean. What D is the time it takes for the Earth to revolve once on its own axis? A day. Correct, Paul. Bank. By what first name did American singer Harry Lillis Crosby become Bing. better known? Time is up. The correct answer was Bing. And in that round, you have improved, certainly from the last round. You put in the bank £1,800 out of your possible £2,500. But who, frankly, looks as if they have reached the end of their road? Who is beginning to be worryingly slow? Let me advise you to keep the mean and ditch the lean. <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off The Weakest Link. The Weakest Link statistically is Gordon. He got the most wrong answers and lost the most money for the team. Beryl is the strongest link, although Louise banked the most money. So whose game is over? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Louise. Sean. Gordon. Gordon. Louise. Louise. Gordon, how do you think you did on that round? Pitifully poor. Mm. <laughs> how poor? Well, I should be walking out the door, put it like that. Well, that's one <laughs> question you got right. <laughs> Statistically, Gordon, you were the weakest link, but the person you have voted off is not Gordon. The person you have voted off actually banked £1,500 in that last round. Louise, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. It seems on this show I've been haunted by questions about English geography. Ramsgate, Margate, I have no idea where any of them are. I know where Cork is, but it just didn't cut the mustard here today. Even though I banked £1,500 and was still voted off, I have no regrets. I wasn't the cleverest person there today. The lady or the lad who wins it deserves it. The person they should vote off next is Paul. I think he's been lucky, fierce competition. Um, but he's got to go. Round four, team. You've banked so far £4,500 out of potential prize money of £7,500. There are five of you left. We are taking another ten seconds off the clock. You now have just two minutes. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Beryl. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Beryl, what nationality is the Formula One racing driver Mika Hakkinen? Finnish. Correct. Gordon, in the human body, the two major female sex hormones are progesterone and what? Oestrogen. Correct. Sean, in fashion, which style of low heel on a woman's shoe is named after a young animal? A mule. Kitten. Paul, which Cockney actor was knighted in the Queen's Birthday Honours List earlier this year? Michael Caine. Correct, John. In the 1970s, what name was given to the brightly coloured inflatable toys which had ears as handles? Space Hoppers. Correct, Beryl. In literature, in which Daphne du Maurier novel was Mrs Danvers the housekeeper at Mandalay? Rebecca. Correct, Gordon. Which Scottish vet invented the pneumatic tyre in 1888? Dunlop. Correct, Sean. Which sinister sounding beetle is a pest in the timbers of old buildings? Death Watch Beetle. Correct, Paul. Bank. The name of which relative is used as a nickname for the BBC? 
Ante. Correct, John. Which day of the week is named after the Norse god of thunder? Thursday. Thursday. Correct. Beryl, in which English county is Wales Cathedral? Somerset. Correct, Gordon. Which comedy team had a hit with the song The Funky Gibbon? The Goodies. Correct, Sean. In 1964, Tanganyika joined Zanzibar to become which country? Tanzania. Correct, Paul. Bank. The actor Kevin Spacey was the voice of a grasshopper in which 1998 Disney film? Pass. A Bug's Life. John, in which year did Winston Churchill first become British Prime Minister? 1939. 1940. Beryl, which British tennis player was married to Chris Ebbett from 1979 to 1987? John Lloyd. Correct. Gordon. In the US, which animal appears on the flag of California, a bear or a horse? A horse. Bear. Sean, which C is a card game that is scored? The time is up, and I cannot complete the question. And in that round, team, you got more than eight questions correct in a row, so it is a sad thing that you did not reach your target. However, you did manage to put in your kitty £2,000. Who is now looking just a little second division? Who is likely to hold you back in future rounds? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Although Paul banked £2,000, Beryl is the strongest link because she answered all her questions correctly. Sean is the weakest link, but will the votes reflect the facts? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Paul. Sean. John. Gordon. Gordon. Paul, why Gordon? He had a bad round last round, but uh, he's been really good before that, so I could forgive him that, but it's getting so tight now. Right. Sean, this ballroom dancing, I understand, is your hobby. Mm -hmm. Does no one wear kitten heels who you dance with? I'm certainly not ashamed of getting questions about women's shoes wrong. Right. <laughs> so you don't mind how many questions you get wrong as long as as long as you get the bloke questions right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just have to avoid the fashion questions, I think. How do you think you did in that round? Um, there were four of us who all got one wrong, I think, so uh, nothing to choose between us. Well, there was, actually, because statistically you were the worst player. It's votes that count. Gordon, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> This time around, Anne is really, really tough. She's the person you would least like to meet in a dark alley. She's really strict. I didn't think she could be stricter than before, but she's taken lessons on that. I think John did worry me a little because he did was a bit cocky and he was a bit too full of himself, and I would really like if he didn't take the money home. Round five, by now you could have had £10,000 in the bank. You've actually got 6500 There are four of you left. Another ten seconds is coming off the time. We start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Beryl. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Beryl, what name was given to the short shorts which were the height of fashion in the early 70s? Hot pants. Correct, Sean. The Humber and Seven Road bridges are what type of bridge? Suspension or cantilever? Suspension. Correct, Paul. Which biblical giant came from the city of Gath? Goliath. Correct, John. Which American president survived two assassination attempts in 17 days in 1975? Uh, it's, um, Nixon. Gerald Ford. Beryl, in which African country might you visit Nairobi and Mombasa? Kenya. Correct. Sean, which supermodel, a former Miss Denmark, was born there on Christmas Day, 1968? Helena Christensen. Correct. Paul, in 1992, actor Daniel Day-Lewis starred as Hawkeye in which film set in 18th century America? The Alamo. The Last of the Mohicans. John, on which side of the road do cars drive in Canada? The left. The right. Beryl. Castor, Demerara and Muscovado are all types of which foodstuff? Sugar. Correct. 
Sean, as part of the Queen Mother's birthday pageant in August this year, which furry creatures march past in guardsmen's uniform? Wombles. Correct, Paul. The cities of Utrecht and Arnhem are in which European country? Belgium. The Netherlands. John, in literature, which 14th century writer told the story of the band of pilgrims travelling to Canterbury? Geoffrey Chaucer. Correct, Beryl. What is the official currency of Vatican City? Uh, the Lyra. Correct. Sean, which BBC comedy series starring Mia Sile satirises Asian life in Britain? A pass. Goodness gracious me. Paul, in the animal kingdom, the Tasmanian devil is native to which country? Africa. Australia. John, in the human body, which aperture allows light into the eyes? The eye. The iris. The time is up. The correct answer is the pupil. And in that round, you excelled yourself. Your total in the bank was zero. What an embarrassing title you carry with you of champions. Would anyone believe it? Who is holding you back? Remember, she who hesitates is better outside with a cup of tea. He who passes is past his best. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Statistically, John is the weakest link. Beryl is the strongest link for the third time in the game, the only player to answer all her questions correctly. But who will be rejected from the team? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Paul. Paul. John. Sean. I've never found this necessary before, but I think I ought to go over a section of the rules with you. You are, after all, supposed to be champions, but it's worth knowing that only money that has been banked can be carried forward. You might have forgotten that, all of you, since you scored exactly zero in the last round. Beryl, why Paul? Well, although others did get questions wrong, uh, it stood out in my mind that he got the question wrong about The Last of the Mohicans, and he's the same age as me. He must have watched the program from the pen of J. Fenimore Cooper. Right, it but it's a film, talking. isn't it? It is a film, but uh, there was a TV series. Do you think yeah. he looks the same age as you? Well, no, actually, he looks older, but he is the same age as me. <laughs> is he? <laughs> Paul, it's votes that count. With two votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Being voted off as the weak weakest link, um, not disappointed, but John is very good, and although he was statistically the weakest link, he probably deserved to stay up there because his general knowledge is superior to mine. Uh, it's fair, really. The person I would least like to see win is uh, Burrell. She was great before the show, really nice. Now she's up there, she's turned into a bit of an ogre. Good general knowledge, but uh, full of herself. Round six. And tiresomely for the viewers who deserve a bit of excitement, you still only have £6,500 in the bank out of now a possible £12,500 you could have won. Three of you left, another ten seconds off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round, that's Beryl. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Beryl, Frank Sinatra's hometown, Hoboken, is in which American state? New Jersey. Correct, Sean. In fashion, what cloth is produced by buffing the flesh side of a tanned animal hide? Suede. Correct, John. In history, which red brick palace near London, built by Cardinal Wolsey, was a favourite residence of King Henry VIII? Hampton Court. Correct, Hampton Court Palace. Beryl, Bank. which upland area in the southwest of England gives its name to a breed of pony and a breed of sheep? Dartmoor. Correct. Sean, in maths, what is 470 minus 310? 160. Correct, John. Complete the introduction to a children's TV programme. It's Friday, it's 5 to 5, and it's what? 
Crackerjack. Correct, Beryl. Which Thanks. 18th century explorer sailed on a ship called the Endeavour? Uh, Cook. Correct, Sean. In astronomy, when is the white halo surrounding the sun known as the corona visible from Earth? During a total eclipse. Correct. John, in 1998, actress Kim Basinger won an Oscar for which crime thriller set in Los Angeles? L.A. Confidential. Correct. Beryl. Bank. Kabul is the capital city of which Islamic country? Afghanistan. Correct. Sean, which famous radio family live in the county of Borsetshire? Um, the Arches. Correct. John, in biology, calciferol is more commonly known as which vitamin? Uh, vitamin D. D, correct. Beryl. Bank. In nature, which flower is also called a flag, the iris or the pansy? Iris. Correct. Sean. Bank. In music, what was the surname? Time is up. I cannot complete the question. You did not answer one question incorrectly. And in that round, you won 800 and 50 pounds. Now team, in round seven you get the chance to double what you bank and that means in the next round there's 5,000 pounds to be won. The question is who is least likely to raise the stakes? It's time to vote off the weakest link. Having escaped the vote in the last round, John is the weakest link once again. Beryl is the strongest link statistically. But at this crucial stage of the game, who will the players vote off? Voting over, it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. John. John. Sean. Right. Sean, why John? Well, how do you choose? I, mean, I had to go on past performance, and um, he was the weakest link the, the round before, I think, so... Right. Beryl, why John? Well, the same as Sean. I thought that uh, Sean had been stronger in previous rounds, and this round there was nothing to choose, so oh. I had to go from previous rounds. John, the two votes. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate to be knocked out uh, so close to the end. But one of us has to go, and I think Beryl was very strong, and Sean was consist fairly consistent. I think the per person most likely to win is Beryl. She's had the greatest consistency, and she's been the strongest link. Round seven, and the £7,350 in your kitty, just under half of the 15000 you could have won by now. Beryl and Sean, just the two of you left, and this time you have 90 seconds. But whatever you win in this round will be doubled and added to your total to make up your final prize money. £5,000, therefore, is at stake in this round. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's Beryl. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Beryl, in which sport did Britain's Jason Queeley win an Olympic gold medal in Sydney this year? Cycling. Correct, Sean. In fashion, what type of garment are Oxford bags? Shoes. Trousers. <laughs> Beryl, in the Bible, who successfully interpreted the Pharaoh's dreams? Joseph. Correct. Sean, which American actress starred in the 1980 film comedy Private Benjamin? Goldie Horn. Correct. Beryl, Gianluca Vialli was sacked as manager of which club in September this year? Chelsea. Correct. Sean, finished the title of the play first performed in 1773. She stoops to what? Conquer. Correct. Beryl. Bank. The most famous library of the ancient world was in which city, Alexandria or Athens? Athens. Alexandria. Sean, in cooking measurements, how many teaspoons are there in a tablespoon? Three. Correct. Beryl, in the TV series One Foot in the Grave, what is the first name of Victor Meldrew's wife? Pass. Margaret. Sean. In history, from which British port did Sir Francis Drake sail to defeat the Spanish Armada in July 1588? Plymouth. Correct. Beryl, which of the United States of America is the most southerly? Uh, Florida. Hawaii. Sean. In literature, Parcel arrived safely tied with string is the autobiography of which Barnum star? Michael Crawford. Correct. Beryl. Which famous arts complex in Paris houses the French National Museum of Modern Art? The Pompidou Centre. Correct, Sean. Right. In the human body, which joint is affected by a pox fracture? 
time's up and the correct answer was ankle and you certainly didn't make it to your target in that round of two and a half thousand pounds you only won six hundred pounds never mind we'll double that and add it to the winnings from the previous rounds that means total prize money this evening of eight thousand five hundred and fifty pounds but only one of you can take that money away you will be playing against each other in the next round head to head I'll ask alternate questions it's the best of five whoever answers the most correctly wins it's as simple as that if there's a tie after five we'll go for sudden death until we have a winner so Beryl and Sean for eight thousand five hundred and fifty pounds let's play the weakest link Sean, as the strongest link in the last round, you have the choice of who goes first. I'll go first. Sean, which South African antelope is known for the stiff-legged bouncing movement it uses to escape danger? Springbok. What is the correct answer? Beryl. At the Sydney Games, who won the super heavyweight title to become Britain's first Olympic boxing gold medalist for 32 years? Audley Harrison. What is the correct answer? Sean. What would you find information about if you looked on page 555 of CFAX? The weather. The correct answer is the National Lottery. Beryl, which is the densest planet of the solar system? Jupiter. The correct answer is Earth. And at this point, you are level pegging. I'll just remind you, you are playing for £8,550. Sean. In the US, what is the name of the American presidential retreat in Maryland? Camp David. That is the correct answer. Beryl. In pantomime, who is Aladdin's mother? Widow Twanky. That is the correct answer. Sean. What type of fruit was a costard from which we get the word costermonger? Grape. The correct answer is apple. Beryl, if you answer this question correctly, you take the lead. Native to the Tibetan Himalayas, which mammal lives at the highest altitude in the world? The yak. That is the correct answer. Sean, you need to answer this question correctly, or Beryl will take home the prize money of 8000 Five hundred and fifty pounds. Which actor, disguised as a woman, received a marriage proposal at the end of the comedy film *Some Like It Hot*? Tony Curtis. Correct answer is Jack Lemmon. That means Beryl, you are tonight's strongest link and you go away with £8,550. Sean, you leave with nothing. Join us again for The Weakest Link. Goodbye. Had I won, I'd have bought some new furniture for my new house, and I've just picked up a large mortgage, so it would have helped to pay off a bit of that. Even if I had had my opponent's questions, yes, I would still have won because I did know the answers to his questions. More Weakest Link next Tuesday at 8.25 on BBC One Scotland. Next tonight, Lust is the Sin.